Uh, but a cost that's close to home for a lot of people is the money spent to repair the damage done to private property caused by illegal immigrants as they seek to enter the country undetected. And of course, there's the human cost, like children apparently abandoned by human smugglers as soon as they get them across the border and into the country, left to the mercies of whoever happens to come across them first, such as in this uh, video uh, featured by the Texas Farm Bureau from uh, Kate Hobbs. This is our first video on this topic. No mother, no mother, no father, no nothing. This is one of our uh, workers' wives right here taking care of this tiny one. No one with these children dumped out on the side of the river here on our farm. This is where these children were brought across and dumped here alone. Five little girls. This is where they slept last night. This is where my husband found them this morning when he was checking on the farm. He thought one of them was dead. There's nobody here yet but us. These are some of our helpers that, look at this, look at this. So first of all, thank you, Kate Hobbs, for taking care of these small children, four or five small children abandoned. Uh, you know, obviously, we don't know the circumstances. Uh, my surmise would be that they were uh, smuggled across the border by somebody paid probably by their parents to do so, uh, but then just left there to uh, whoever might come across them first, which is um, just as sad a story as you're likely to see today. I, I think it's interesting because it kind of flies in the face of this narrative during the Trump administration that everyone is just arriving at the border as a nice, happy family, and then he's just ripping mm. them apart, yeah, right. and, yeah. and he's just throwing them in cages. Like, no, it turns out that children are being smuggled. Their parents were never here, and that is a big problem that's happening, and it's continuing to happen under the Biden administration. So it's not like Absolutely. everything was just amazing, and then Trump decided to start separating families, and then that's why I have a problem. Like that, No, when, it when just you have half a million that, people coming across per quarter, you're going to get some horror stories. Right. And, uh, and this is one of them. Uh, you know, our, our prayers go out to these uh, children who are, uh, you know, I, I can't blame them for anything. No. Uh, they are victims of this process just as much as anybody else is. But ranchers near the border are seeing economic costs as well as the human costs as damage is done to their property that insurance doesn't always cover. We have another video here, this one from a man named Brian King explaining why he's going to have to come up with something in the neighborhood of $1,500 to repair fencing on his property. Hi, I'm Brian King. I'm a farmer in Dimmitt County. Uh, we went from having, in the last six years, two incidents of people running through our fences and illegal aliens crossing our place to now it being a weekly occurrence. This one is the most recent time. Uh, they came in off the highway back there uh, ran through this fence and went through up along the highway and created uh, about, this is going to cost us about $1,500 between the two fences to replace this. And like I said, it's, it's been a weekly occurrence now for the last four months. So the Farm Bureau that uh, has those videos and, and others, if you Google them, you can go see lots of stories from uh, farmers on the border, agricultural workers on the border encountering this kind of stuff. Uh, they're an insurance and lobbying group, as I'm sure many of you know. Uh, Heartland Americans are probably pretty familiar with the Farm Bureau. One of their chief concerns has to do with protection of private property rights uh, for farmers and agricultural workers. And for that reason, the American Farm Bureau Federation sent the letter on June 3rd a month and a half ago to the secretaries of agriculture, interior and homeland security, demanding financial assistance for farmers who are being impacted this way. And they might get that. And also demanding action to quote, enforce legal immigration to secure us borders. They will not get that. Uh, since that letter, according to a story written by Jacob Gurney of the Western journal and published just this morning, 
there was some sort of virtual meeting held because the letter in which uh, they were promised a response from the Biden administration of that promise, Texas Farm Bureau President Russell Boehning said, quote, I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> 